Okay. So, without further ado, here is my speech for the senior awards ceremony that won't be broadcasted during the actual ceremony, but I thought I'd share it with you here today. Well, here we are. You finally made it. Of course, this is not exactly the way that everybody anticipated the last three months unfolding. However, you all handled this situation with a great deal of re resiliency. This, cla this class is very special to me, as you are all, you all are the very first set of students that I have had for all four years. Of course, there are a couple of you that I only had for three years, but you are no less special to me. We have had an incredible journey together, and I'm extremely grateful that the eight of you decided to choose and stick with e-commerce as your program of study. Isabella, it's been a pleasure having you for the last three years in the program. You have made great strides and brought a sense of energy into the class that brings about excitement day in and day out. Sadie, the lone wolf from the shop formerly known as Business Management and Administration. You, adapt, you adapted extraordinarily well to the new dynamic within the e-commerce program. Your calming demeanor helped to balance out all of the dynamic personalities. Matthew, your persistence over the years was undoubtedly noticeable. While things did not materialize exactly the way you may, not, may have expected it, you remained patient and diligent. Myla, your witty sense of humor makes me smile. You are a kind-natured person with a big heart that I know will touch the lives of others. Anthony, or more familiarly known as Mr. Savarese, your work ethic and determination towards your dream are unparalleled. I know without a shadow of a doubt that you'll be working for the WWE someday. I've never met a student so passionate, passionate about a career at this juncture in their life. I'm looking forward to hearing and seeing all the successes that life will bring you. William, poised both in and out of the classroom, specifically on the field of play. I've enjoyed watching you grow in the classroom, most notably watching your YES presentations and of course, watching you grow on the gridiron. Your passion and drive combined with your willingness to adapt and problem solve will lead you to unprecedented levels of success. Jeffrey, your acumen for business and information technology is second to none. I'm still impressed with you and William presenting the Amazon HQ presentation to the board of directors using Alexa to navigate the presentation. They may not have appreciated the creative, out-of-the-box thinking, but I sure as hell did. From your InvestRight uh, presentations to the work that you put in, or for your, from your stock pitch presentations to the work that you put in, in the weight room, I am grateful I have had the opportunity to work with you in many different facets. The eight of you mean a great deal to me, and I wish you all continued success in all your future endeavors. Oh, wait. That's right. I knew I was forgetting someone. Now, how could I forget someone who knew I wanted Jeff Bezos at our Amazon HQ presentation so bad that she emailed his secretary to get him to be present? <clears throat> Even though Jeff was not present, it's the little subtle things that make Miss Kid stand out. Congratulations, Miss Kid, as you are the 2020 e-commerce senior award recipient. This year's decision was undoubtedly the most difficult I've ever had to make. And just know that you all hold a special place in my heart. Now, without further ado, since now we know who that award recipient is, a special note to our award recipient, Andrea.
Well, first off, let me properly address you, as I have since day one, as Miss Kid. Ah, Miss Kid. Day one actually takes us back to Tech Trek, your seventh grade year. It did not matter what the program was going to be your freshman year. Anything from global supply chain to logistics to information technology to e-commerce, you kept coming back interested to learn. Ultimately, when you did select tech, you came in eager and willing to embrace any challenge thrown your way. For four years, it did not matter the type of challenge you took. It did not matter the type of challenge. You took on each and every one of them with integrity and an open mind. Whether it be designing apps through code.org, competing in the H&R Block Budget Challenge, or writing essays for the Invest Rate competition, you repeatedly showcased your willingness and desire to perform at extraordinary levels. While you may think of yourself as timid and rather passive student at times, I see a student with uncanny ability to take any situation and make the most of it. Things have not always been easy over the past four years. However, you have an ability to perform the task at hand with patience and poise. I truly believe that your patience and poise allow you to remain calm in trying situations. However, when push comes to shove, you are not afraid to stand up and challenge yourself and your classmates. This was most evident when you took on the role of seeing that the VEI business plan and presentation were nothing short of spectacular. Make no mistake about it, while passive may be your general state, I have to admit witnessing your aggressive nature come out was rather inspiring. You may not have realized it, but you have always been a role model to your peers. You have inspired them to want to become better students. You are a remarkable young woman with a hunger and thirst for knowledge that I know will open many doors for you. You've inspired me to become a better teacher and leader. I thank you for all the memories over the past four years, including one of your most notable performances, your personal elevator pitch. With that being said, no parting words would be complete without some sort of lyrical mastery. Whether they call you Andy, Miss Kid, or Andrea, your possibilities and potential are as high as a Himalaya. Keep pushing and pursuing your dream. There is no mountain you can't climb that is too extreme. Radiant, effectual, or adaptable. I can't just pick one amazing quality. Given these times, I need them all to weather the volatility. Now, you didn't think I would drop a rhyme without investing terminology. Be you, no matter what. No need for an apology. So we've reached the end of this chapter. Ha, and I must say, you got me beat. You're a much better rapper. Anderson, out. Thank you, everyone, for listening.